What's up, guys? Running Man here. Uh, so, men are happy, women are miserable. You know, be grateful you're a man. Like, seriously. And I, I, watched, I, I heard a Bill Burr clip, which was great. I can see if I can find it and put it, on, put it below. But he said, you know, he was giving a young guy advice, and I don't want to go into it because it, it was kind of off topic. But basically, men are fucking happy. If you know any women that are especially older women, and you're trying to please them, like let's say it's your wife, you will find very quickly exactly what Bill Burr said, is that the most you can do is something for one day or two days to make them happy for one day or two days. That's it. That's max. And I'm talking a famous, intelligent, wealthy, well-liked, you know what I mean? Like a guy, a guy who's on top of his game. A real a guy who he's you know what I mean. He's clever. He's got everything. He's he's right there in the in the one percent for sure. This guy's one percent. And yet, Bill Burr, one a famous, successful guy, who's healthy and everything, right? Still young, right? Cannot make a particular woman happy for more than one day or two days, right? And 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 you know. It goes back to the friend, my friend Whitey, who gave me the advice when I was young. When I, he, I was, he was asking about getting married when I was, you know, I was like uh, 20, uh, 21 or 22. He's, you know, and I, and I said, oh, I wanted to get married back then, right? And he said, he said, well, I'd rather make many women happy than one woman miserable. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so true. That's the thing. That's the crazy thing that Bill didn't say is that, and I don't think he knows, is that you can make a lot of women happy. You can give them a bone. You can make them smile. You can open them up. Or you can have one woman who basically hates you, a wife, right? And it will never be happy. And you will see through the lens of we're always happy, we made the right decision, strong and independent. And you will see a very miserable person. If you've ever laid around with a woman, they, they are depressed, like all the time. Like, it's crazy. Like, when they first meet you, they'll be all excited. Then give them a few months, they'll be laying around with their dogs on the ground, just moaning all the time and, you know, not wearing makeup and just just like a slovenly, they won't put, they won't dress up, they'll just... They're just depressed. Like women are fucking depressed, you know? And it is so great, I got to tell you, to be a fucking man. It is great to be a man. Because men are simple. Yesterday, a friend of mine called me, right? I hadn't seen him in a long time. He's from uh, Slovenia, right? He's coming to the summit. Great guy, boss. Boss calls me. He's like, hey, you want to go to a sensory depra deprivation uh, chamber thing? And I uh, got floated in the salt, right? Like Joe Rogan, right? And I said, I said, ah, maybe, you know, and he goes, he goes, I'm treating, you got to come, it's gonna be fucking awesome. And I'm like, ah, fuck it, why not? So we went, I saw him, he's all happy, you know, big smile, you know, and he's got his friend, he's there, he's all happy, who I knew from before, he's like, great to see you. And I was like, fuck, good to see you. <laughs> so we're all happy, right? So we go to the tank, and we got in the tank, the tank was cool, right? Tank, I could talk about that another time. Tank was fucking cool, right? So then we get out, we're all sitting there eating, you know, and then we're, we're basically tired, you know, because it, it's a weird experience, right? So then, then we're like, oh, what should we do, you know? And then my other friend calls, Indian guy. He's like, he's a Deepak, right? Deepak calls me, he's like, he's like, what are you guys doing? And I said, well, I don't know. But just, just, he's like, well, what should I do? I said, just come here, you know. This, guys are so simple, right? So he's like, okay, I'll take a motorcycle text. So he comes over. And then we end up going out, get some Israeli food. It was fucking my favorite little restaurant at Kausan. We fucking mowed. It was tasty. It was cheap. It was awesome. And we took the boat. We took the, we took the canal boat. And we're smiling and taking pictures. And everybody's, everybody's fucking happy. Like, all the guys are laughing. We're eating. And, like, you know, guys are like, when we go to pay the bill, everybody throws in too much money, right? So the guy who paid with his credit card, he ends up winning, right? And we're all, like, stoked, you know. And then Deepak's got to go home. The other guys are like, let's watch Sunset. Check out some temples. So we did. We went and checked out temples. And I'm just like, I'm like, we're fucking great, right? So then they're like, oh, let's take a grab. I'm like, no, no, there's a bus. There's a bus. 
They're like, no, the bus is going to be out. I know. I said, trust me, let's take the bus. So we took the bus. Bus was fucking great, right? It was like old school, 1957 bus. And it was like this big red fucking, uh, what is that uh, old movie? Uh, Blade Runner, yeah? And we're on Blade Runner cruising across. And they both were like, this is great. They're taking pictures. They're like, this bus rocks. And it was like, we were just, I was just laughing, like so simple. Right? And then we get, we get back, we get back home, right? I go to the park. And I'm just, you know, kind of, I was planning on doing something, but it wasn't happening. So I was just walking around the park, text another friend, what are you up to? He goes, I'm walking around the park. I'm like, oh, well, I'm walking around the park too. So I met up with him. We ended up fucking laughing all night, talking. And like, I got home, got home like a good time to go to sleep, like 9.30 or whatever, and uh, laid down. I just felt this feeling of satisfaction, you know? And I tell you, man, don't be tricked by modern society because they're trying to tell you that you're depressed and you're this and you're that. And I'll, if you get out of touch with your manliness, you, you can get fucked up. And I'm not saying life is not full of massive challenges at the time. So I don't know what you're going through at this moment because I've been through some incredible challenges where I was in no way happy to short term. Okay, but long term, look around you. Men are fucking happy. They are. And you need to know that. See, usually I never tell people what they feel or what they're doing. But sometimes you need a wake-up call. I am telling you right now, men are fucking basically happy with very simple things in life. And once you realize that about yourself, you know, like short hair, I got fucking short hair. I'm happy with that. You know, of course, I'm going to look better with long But Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Like, it's simple. I like it. Every time I go there, it cuts it short, I'm stoked. I leave, I feel fucking clean. I feel like fucking, you know, very masculine fucking barbershop. You know, the guy's a kickboxer. You know, I leave there and I'm just like, fuck yeah. <laughs> was that America? Hell yeah, what was that? That, uh, that uh, was that Beavis and Butthead? No, no. Oh, no, no. What was that fucking one with North Korea? I can't remember. Anyway, so, so like, basically, like, like, remember, remember that. And a lot of times we can't see ourselves from the outside because we don't see women's lives. Women are laying around fucking miserable. If you have any daughters, watch them. They're moping around all the time, right? They're just fucking moping around. And then your son, what's he doing? He's running around playing soccer, doing this, you know, meeting his friends, right? It's always like that. <laughs> it's, it never fucking changes, right? It never changes, you know? And, and in the old days, in the old days, it was worth it to have a wife, right? Because you got an old, you know, girlfriend, wife, whatever. You make her happy and you got your time, you know, you got your, your thing. But society's taken that away. That, that is no longer a good option for men. It is a miserable option. And you end up with no house, no money, no kid, lots of fear, lots of lawsuits, threat of like false allegations in jail like really that's the reality of any relationship today so do not kid yourself on that those days are over just like the 50s the 50s they used to, the girls used to wear like what was it roller skates and serve your hamburger where is that that's not here anymore. it's gone right so what is here a lot of good shit is here you know what's here now that you didn't exist before is that it's easy to travel when I came here in the 80s, man, it was fucking hard. Okay. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> it wasn't easy back then. It was tough, right? And, and, and today, it's fucking easy, man. It's just, you know, you can travel and you can do all kinds of shit like that deprivation tank, you know? Shit like that. That, 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 was, that cost about the same amount of money, money to take some dumb girl out to fucking Fridays or something, you know, or whatever one of these shitty restaurants that gives you you know, strokes and cancer, right? That's basically the, this is the type of thing most people do on a Sunday. I'm out with my friends laughing all fucking day. I'm just <laughs> totally serious about the laughing part. We were on the boat, like every single joke was politically incorrect and absolutely fucking hilarious. Like we were crying laughing the whole day and everybody was funny. That's what was interesting about the group we had yesterday. Like there was like dry humor. There was all kinds of humor. Like when one Indian guy, American guy, one German guy who grew up in Spain, and then one Slovenian guy, right? 
And we're all just fucking, everybody's on the same page, right? Nobody's fucking serious, right? And there was all different ages, too. That was, was interesting, too. But we're all just laughing our ass off the whole time. Like, we're on the boat. We're the only ones laughing, right? We're on the subway. We're the only ones laughing, right? And we're on the bus. We're the only ones laughing, right? And I was looking back, and I was thinking, when we were on the uh, boat, I was thinking, should we calm it down, you know? And then I realized, no, no. This is a beautiful thing. This is like male camaraderie. Guys having fucking fun, right? Fucking laughing at every politically correct thing you could ever imagine, right? <laughs> it was fucking great. Never forget you're a man. Never forget. Don't forget it. You know, go out and do something that you like to do, right? Something fucking fun. And have a good time. And don't worry. Oh, yeah, this is a dumb thing to do, right? I love skipping rocks. I love throwing rocks. Anybody knows me, as soon as I see a lake or an ocean, I start throwing rocks. <laughs> so, I'm going to be chucking rocks, period, right? Either big rocks, like big boulders, throwing those, like the Scottish guys, or fucking skipping rocks, or breaking off sticks and throwing sticks, or playing baseball with a stick or with a piece of seaweed. I'm going to be fucking doing that, because I used to like that as a kid. I still like it. I, You know, nothing changed. It took me a while to realize. I was about in my 30s before I realized, no, late 20s. When I realized, wait, I am never going to change. Like, as a man, I fucking love certain things, you know? And I'm always going to love them. And, it, and it's okay. And society tries to tell me, oh, that's very, uh, what do you call it? Like, I childish or whatever. It's just like, Dude, those people are crazy. Look at their faces, man. Fuck, you don't want any of that. No way, man. Just enjoy yourself. And I just got a call from Deepak, so I better... I better get the fuck out of here because he's waiting for me. And I know we're going to be fucking laughing. I guarantee you we're going to be laughing. And we're going to be going to the gym, going to be squatting, going to be doing fucking deadlifts. It's going to be fucking awesome. And I'm going with this another Indian friend. We're going to go get some food, like an Indian food later. And just look at his apartment. He wants to sell an apartment. I'm going to go look at that. And then I'll probably fucking call another friend and do something fun in the afternoon, right? That's basically what I'm going to do today, right? So it's a good day. It's a good fucking day. <laughs> so be happy you're a man and let go of all these people's opinions. Let it go. It's all bullshit. It's not true. They're jealous. That's all. Guys like to have fun. Guys laugh. It makes people uncomfortable because they're miserable, right? So don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> Just go do the dumb shit that you love, right? Just go do that dumb shit. Take that walk, walk that dog, throw that rock, fucking, you know, whatever it is, break a bottle, whatever it is that you enjoy doing, right? I love to throw bottles in the air and then break them with rocks. You know, that's fucking, that's a blast. It makes a big pop, you know what I mean? You know, if I ever find a TV, oh my God, if I find a TV, oh, they're the best. <laughs> oh, you know, it's fun. Oh, and I haven't done it since I was in college. But uh, you take a fluorescent light, right? You get a fluorescent light, get a get a bulb, okay, and then stand on the concrete, right? And put it over your head like a spear and throw that motherfucker as hard as you can into the ground, okay? And if you throw it, and then you can have a friend film it in slow motion. Uh, that would be really cool. I've never done that. But what happens is as it goes into the ground, it disappears, <laughs> which is pretty stupid, but I like that look. <laughs> It's like, whoa, that fucking glass is like, for the millionth time, you know, I'm watching the, like some, some, some total retard. I'm just watching the same thing, train going in a tunnel, right? I'm watching that fucking glass just whoo, disappear. To me, that always surprises me. <laughs> I love that every time. And then as it goes, boom, if, especially if you throw it a certain way, it'll make a flash, like a green flash. See if you can get that flash. That's fucking awesome. And the sound is great. And the fucking visual is awesome. And it gives you a good manly feeling like hucking that thing down on the ground, right? There's probably like dangerous dust that's going to kill everybody. But <laughs> I don't worry about that. Yeah, I never, that never bothered me. <laughs> There's probably something, you know, that, that should have killed me 50 years ago or something. But anyway, it didn't. So, so <laughs> by some miracle, I've actually enjoyed my life and survived until this point. <laughs> So I wish you guys all the best, and thanks for listening.